this storm and the front that it's going to draw through is more strong is stronger, use the correct English. That is going to be bringing not only rain, but possibly some thunderstorms and very gusty winds with it that will last both Saturday out ahead of the storm and then Sunday on the back side of it. Here we are Saturday at 415. The front lines up across state line and there's going to be a line of heavy rain and some thunderstorms when this comes through. That will be followed by the dry slot. That's when things quiet down before the snow passes by. Now, not everybody is going to see the snow, but everybody is going to see the rain and maybe too much of it. A half an inch over towards Marshall, Sedalia and Warrensburg, almost an inch here in Kansas City, nearly two inches of rain possible in pockets closer to the Iowa border. And then as far as that snow goes, it's mainly going to be north of Kansas City. I don't think it makes it into the city itself other than a few flurries you see here is Sunday evening. This is falling apart, so it's not anything that's going to stick around and bring inches of snow, but it could put down a little bit of a dusting in our northern communities again, closer to the Nebraska and the Kansas borders. But any liquid that falls, especially all that rain on Saturday and the equivalent of the liquid to the snow that falls on Sunday will add to our rain bucket. So far we've had almost 51 and three quarters of an inch of rain this year. Right now, if we didn't get any more rain, we would end this year as the sixth wettest on record in Kansas City. But with that additional inch of rain, it's going to be easy for us to finish in the top five. And that's for the records that have been kept at KCI. In our nine day forecast, our rain starts late on Friday. So most of the day tomorrow, it'll be partly to mostly cloudy, 45 degrees. And then on Saturday, daylight hours look to be just a washout rain moving in heavy at times. You may even hear that thunderstorm come through. Most of us will not see snow on Sunday, but those who do may pick up a dusting to a half an inch of snow closer to up to the Iowa Nebraska borders. Very windy on Sunday during the Chiefs game. The wind could be gusting up to 25 to 30 miles per hour. That will be followed by colder air on Monday. Tuesday for New Year's Eve temperatures will be in the 30s if you're going out New Year's night New Year's Day 49 degrees and then partly cloudy skies expected. But let me draw out the forecast for Sunday. Let's talk about the Chiefs game. It'll be warmest during tailgating falling temperatures throughout the game.